Hello everyone, today we are going to investigate how to do a flip animation in Flutter. And how you can see here, we have an image and we want to flip it around. So that's what we're going to do. We can press then later here and it will flip around. And also if you reverse it, it will flip back to the image. So we start with an empty project right now. And first of all, we want to show just the button and we take the outline button here um, have a zero function here. So nothing will happen on press. And then we want to display a text inside, which we just say flip forward. If we save it, we see this button here on the top left corner. So we also want to have another border. So let's change it, border side. Then we go with width 2.0 and with the color theme of context. And we take the primary color here. And if we save it, it looks better, I think. The next thing is that we want to change the text of the button between two states. First of all, we want to just have another method for this button. And now we will have a different kind of variable, boolean, which we call flip. flip and we set it to default false. And every time we press on this button, we want to change the state. So we call set state and pass the variable here flipped is equals not flipped. And we also want to center this widget here and change it here to block body right now and change the text depending on this flipped state and we set the text here and refresh it and if we click this button here it changes the next thing we want to do is to have an image so i copy this image here and also we want to wrap this here with the column and show our image we will say images dot image dot gpt which i have here as an image and so we refresh it and we have this little image here it isn't centered so we have to add here main axis alignment main axis alignment dot start out of center of course and There we go. Another thing we want to have is a little bit space between these both widgets. So we go here, add a size box with a height of 16 and refresh it. And now we have the space between. So let's recave it. We have an image method here, which we call and we pass the image pass of our file which is stored here and this image method returns a widget and this has the image itself which is 300 by 300 the size and we also pass a border radius of 8.0 here which makes this border here circular now we don't want to show this image anymore we want to flip it around so we replace it with a flip widget which we will create and we pass here two parameters a from and a to image so first of all we will have this image here and then we will have this covered image the next thing what we do is to create this flip widget here and we pass all the information the from widget to and also the animation status which we want to have later and we just return a container for now 
and so we don't see the image here on the right side. To handle our animation we need an animation controller, which we will declare here, and also an init state method where we initialize our animation controller. Here we go with controller only. And it's also important that we have this single picker providing state mixin, which is needed for this animation controller, which is passed here in the vsync property. So I also created this disperse method. Every time our widget here is not shown in the UI, we want to call the disperse method on the animation controller to free everything up. And I also added here an animation curve, which I defined on my own. So I just went to this cubic bc.com and created my own curve and just dragged here around. And what I did is like our animation starts a little bit faster, then it slows down and at the end it will again be faster. The next thing which I did is to create in the build method an animated builder which gets the controller as an argument here for the animation property so that animated builder will just control our animation and in the builder function we actually build the animation. So what we want to do is to animate this image here on the right side which is provided by the widget.from parameter and so we wrap this shard with our method alignment rotate transition. And first of all, I will just comment this out and we'll see what it does. It will rotate our image. So here we have a method rotate, which we call with P, which means that our image rotates 180 degrees. And this thing is here to make the animation a little bit more realistic. So it looks realistic than without. Um, you can try it out at home and we don't actually want to have our image here flipped at the top so we have another transformation we do we transform it from top center to bottom center not totally center but bottom center because we will have another transition later where we pass this Im image to the center so let's just save it. After the hot restart, we will press this button again and you see it makes a rotation and it aligns to the bottom. And the next thing we want to do is to have a transition that the image is shown in the center. And now we just wrap our widget with a slide up transition, which is responsible for moving this image a little bit up. And so we start at zero and then we go to minus one for the y-axis so it will shift a little bit up and if we just perform this action and press on this button you see it flip around and stays at the same position that's what we want but how you can see here right now the image is not on the right side so we actually have to flip this also around so i created another method here to flip our image around on the right side and wrapped it here around our child and what this method is doing if our controller has a value more than 50 percent we want to flip this image around by 180 degrees which is the equivalent to p so if we just press this button everything looks fine the image is on the right side now we only have to exchange the images because we don't want to show every time the same image here it isn't what we want to have. So let's test this application. We have added these last lines and we can now easily switch between the image and the question mark image and also back and it looks great. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon. Bye!